Hey, hello guys, Lindsay here. I hope you're all feeling well. Today we continue playing Sands of the Forest. In the last episode that we left off, we've collected a bunch of cards for entering doors like maintenance card, guest card, VIP card, and by them using them up and opening the doors that we had could not open, we've revealed a really important part of the story we got to know nothing and we got to know that those people in the caves those creepy monsters were originally most probably normal people just like you and me who went crazy for some reason we got to see a videotape about them having a conference and suddenly they went mad they were all in their tuxedos and they tore down their tuxedos and went crazy running into the cave or they were originally monsters acting like normal people but now they not just monsters but also acting as monsters as to the object of today's episode i want to explore one or more point of interest and keep prepping up the sense of the forest gameplay because we are nearing to the end and today I don't want to finish it but most probably the next episode will be the finishing one so just let's go after the last episode I went further to a point of interest and I found a compound bow look at that this bow is crazy it's better than crossbow because of two reasons <laughs> it's i think it's stronger and also it fires so much faster and the third one it's so much easier to aim with it like it's crazy good dead there's a dead animal man like tell me that it's not crazy but the thing is, currently I'm at the next point of interest and my objective is going in, going inside. Do you want me to use my weapon against you? You should know better. Here we are between these crazy people. And my next move is going into that cave because that's the next thing I want to check out. If I'm not mistaken, we shouldn't be too far from the end of the game. If I'm correct, there's only three points of interest left that we need to check out. Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Another civilization area. Door we cannot open. And the debris covers the whole area, so can we cannot go further. And a door with a car! <laughs> Ooh, mysterious. Are you okay, buddy? I wonder how these people are not rotten. Like, they somehow mummified. They should sell the stuff because that's the best cure against fading away after death. No, 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 I didn't want to eat that. Never mind. That's not a big problem. It was just a waste, you know. Oh, there's another people. No, and I got knocked out. I cannot help him. Another one. So where are they coming from? Suddenly. A lot of people. <laughs> yes. It's, it seems like it was like a conference. But I forgot to send me an invitation card. A lot of baby potatoes. Official, it's official. I found your mama. All of you have mama, finally. So wait, let's reconstruct what happened. Went into this room. I We saw a fighting person against the mama of the petty potatoes. We got knocked out and we saw people coming inside. An older person who immediately died and that the other person who knocked us out in the beginning of the game 
with another woman. I guess we was knocked out for like minutes or hours. They... Ooh, there's somebody walking there. They killed the mama baby potato. And now I'm here. They left me here. My civilization left me here again alone. It's all your fault. I'm thirsty. But that was definitely something that boosted forward the story. I think this is the first actual cutscene after the first one that really got us forward into the story. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You again? Don't clean my room if I don't require it. So this compound bow, you will have your mind blown. That it is so awesome! I don't even have to fear this one here anymore. It's so awesome. It's so goddamn awesome. You can't hurt me. Okay, just a little bit you can. But not really. So. Um. Wait. What's happening? It was better, I swear. Just. Could you just die? This dude needs a lot of compound arrows to die. I thought it would take like four. Strange sounds. I'd need a 3D printer. I'd need arrows. Ooh, infested with all kind of monsters. Flashlight attachment. Can I attach it to shotgun, please? Yes! We got a flashlight with infinite battery! Uh. Oh, die horrible death! I love my infinite flashlight so much. I swear it was one of the best things I found so far. Another pistol! So finally I can have a pistol too! Because the other one is occupied by Virginia! Who still doesn't talk to me, by the way. Email safe in cube. First studies show that our hypothesis may be correct and the subject in question are safe inside the cube. Everybody wants to know them safe. Yummy yummy. Yummy 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 yummy. They wanna hop up on that ball. <laughs> if it shot me out to the stars. <laughs> Bye, Dave. You can at least see how good my compound error is. Please come. And don't attack me. Let me attack you first. That was it. What the hell, huh? It's a highly infested area with those creatures, though. What now? It's totally classified, everything classified on this paper, except for cube-like room possibly <laughs> relates. Okay. Poop on your head. Classified paper. I bet that bigger dude can be brought down. Oh! That's a completely new <gasps> shit! What are you? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm overwhelmed. I haven't saved. No, no, no. Please. Show me mercy. I wanna save. Not cool at all. Shotgun. Oh. <clears throat> Not cool. Shotgun. I need you. I need you right now very, very much. What are you? That's a completely new creature. Please die. For a matter of nature. I'm a bit damn. What the? Could you please stay down? Please stay down. Is it dude dead or just relaxing? Are you dead? <laughs> in a in his final effort, he made out with that um, tube. Is there any way to create shotgun ammunition? Because I'm running out of them, and so far it was really hard to come by. 
shotgun shells. Is it the same room? Nope, nope, it's not. Hank, there's a baby potato really in the background, or what's that? Never mind. Hank, good news! We have managed to find both of the clubs of the golf balls. We want to thank you for all your help, and if you are ever out on the links, let's whack a few balls around. Mine's ghost town. Best regards to you. They are baby potties. <sighs> follow your mother, follow your mother! <sighs> Yep, hiding in the corner, waiting for the best moment to jump on my neck, huh? I spit on you. Golf balls. Thanks God. 3D printer. Print me some arrows. <laughs> oh. Mother bunker. Crossbow seems to be better working against this dude. And these guys somehow seeping into <laughs> this building. I don't know where they are coming from, but I hope it's it's not like a monster factory next to us. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you took your revenge. Well played, buddy. Well played. Level 2, with another baby potty. I wanna check out level 3 then. Is it? Nope. It's a door that we cannot open. So for the baby potatoes, hatchet is the best weapon. Poopy. Poopy poopy. Poopy poopy poopy. <laughs> Dead, remain dead, please. Like, don't decide to revive yourself. Well, it's the most intact room so far. A whole fish! That was a huge fish! Okay, we got two rooms here we can go into. Nobody's here, not even baby potatoes. <laughs> Katana, what the hell? Katana in real life is really seriously my favorite weapon. It's almost as strong as my axe. It's much faster. I bet we can not cut down trees with it, but against flesh, it will serve the best. Golden armor. Wear it, of course, wear it. I have an armor now, too. <laughs> what is this place? I hope that it's not a cave that ends the whole game. Like, I don't want to end the game yet, but seriously, golden armor, katana, flashlight, pistol. Gold mask! Also, I heard about the gold mask is the one which you can put on and all of the cannibals will consider you as a god. <laughs> Beep! A cave. A cave. Wow, this flashlight is amazing. It makes the whole cave brighter than our flashlight. It leads out, so it wasn't the final cave. We have a golden armor, that's on me. We have a katana, another pistol, a flashlight. Please. I wanna try out this golden armor anyway. I wanna know what it can do and also I wanna know what my katana can do. Let's save and test ourselves again this cannibal near round. I died very, very fast. What the hell? So hit me just once. Oh, it's kind of not worth 
too much against this type of enemies for sure. A bit of shame. This armor really looked cool. Wow. Kill him, kill him. Bye. I really hope that they will make this armor a bit stronger. Like, I am wearing gold right now. They shouldn't be damaged me so much. They actually damaged me so much as without the armor. So, eh, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> As good as it sounds, like a permanent armor. It's a shame. What? I was in my inventory. It never happened before. I think we should move on. We should leave behind these cannibals. I wanna get back to that point of interest and I wanna mark it with my little house, with my little tent. So I know I've been there. And <laughs> Virginia is close. You know that by the uh, gunshots. She really likes hunting on cannibals. <laughs> she's such a badass, dude. It's a shame that she's afraid of me for some reason. So now let's go over, over to the other point of interest where you can see the house. I've been there after the first or second episode. And I... I, di I don't remember what's there, so I gotta check that out. I probably marked that place because there was a requirement to go further on in that place or something. We will find it out soon. I just looked up for making sure I'm not heading to the final location and apparently that is the final location. So it's gonna be the next episode, for today's episode I'ma check out the other point of interest then I'ma finish this one. Start of cannibals, fire in the hole! <laughs> Boom. Dead. You are so strong <laughs> at this final phase of the game that's incredible. It was unimaginable for me to kill a whole camp of cannibals so easily. <laughs> It's natural. <laughs> In the crouch. Oof, unlucky shot for from your point of view. You're not just dead, but you can't have children anymore. <laughs> Bye. I killed them because I want to have bones. How did they caught you? <laughs> it's funny. It's like a flash football. Oh. You can set him free. You should be thankful instead of attacking me, G. I said kill free too. Go, kill cannibals. Kill cannibals. I love when a story has a happy ending. Virginia completely gave up on being my friend. That's so sad. Never mind. I still have time to fix everything. Here we are at the second of the last point of interest. I think I also been here, but at the time I didn't have a shower, so I couldn't do shit here. Yep, indeed. You need a shower. But before that, I wanna save. It'll be another bunker. It's medley. It's a bunker. Virginia is here. Please, Virginia. Let me speak to you. I'd need Kevin as an intermediate person who would help us talk about our problems with Virginia. You see? She's there, dancing. She's enjoying her life with my weapons. Oh, never mind. Safe. And we are going deep into the bunker. Put the GPS away. And I basically, I just need my shotgun with me. With this flashlight. Hey. Wait. <laughs> no. It's totally regrounded itself. Seemingly there's not too much cannibals around here. Maybe it's a good 
uh, location to build your base. Open it so it cannot reground itself. Maintenance C. That sounds serious. We might embark on a great adventure. But I don't wanna go down, I wanna save. I wanna save. If you look at me closer, me in this tech armor in dark, I'm looking like a Christmas tree. I love this flashlight on the weapon. It's one of the best thing in the game. Mostly because it doesn't need any battery. Revolver. Officially I became badass too. Thank you, sir. You left behind the best present. You guys make it so as if it was Christmas for me every day in this game. No paper potatoes, nothing. It's a small bunker. Cool, so that was this episode. We got to have a lot of precious items. Amongst them the golden armor, the katana, the flashlight that you can attach on your weapon. And the last episode for sure will be the last one. So I hope you're prepared and I hope you enjoy this episode just a little bit. And see you next time. Bye.